When using VS Code for PHP or other server-based language development, the extension OpenPHPHTMLJS in Browser by Prima Future can be very useful. This extension does what the name implies. It opens the current file into the specified default browser for viewing. The assumption is that the necessary servers are running for the page to be processed and viewed correctly. This video demonstrates configuring the extension to work with PHP on Windows using Champ as the development environment. In Champ, the web root is a folder named htdocs, found in the Champ folder. This folder should be in the C drive of the machine. It is to this location that the OpenPHP HTML JS in browser extension must be pointed after being installed in VS Code. In VS Code, click the Settings icon in the bottom left corner of the Tools panel. From the Options menu, click Settings. In the new window, click Extensions, then scroll down until OpenPHP HTML JS in Browser's name is visible and click on it. As seen in the video, there are seven options that can be set. In reality, only the third, Document Root Folder, and fifth, Selected Browser, need to be changed. In Windows, the Document Root Folder should be set to the htdocs folder as mentioned previously using the path c colon backslash xampp backslash htdocs backslash. The selected browser option is a drop-down menu allowing you to select the browser you want the extension to use when opening the file to view it. The choices are those browsers already installed on your computer. Select the one you desire or leave the option to Ask Always and you will be given the choice each time. Finally, confirm that the checkbox to Show Status Bar Item is on so the button will be visible in VS Code. When done, simply close the Settings tab by clicking the X in the tab. VS Code will automatically save the settings. To test the operation, open the Sham Control Panel and make sure the server or servers are running. Return to VS Code and open a page to be tested. Click the Open in Browser button in the status bar. The default browser or browser selection dialog should open. If the latter, select a browser. The browser should then open, showing the page. Having this extension installed and configured can save time as you develop applications.